Hey there, this is Akash and you're watching Tech Infinity. And in this video, we'll be having a look at the Android 10 room that is the Resurrection Remix 8.6.7 with 5th February 2021 security patch level. And I've been using this room for quite a while now. And these are my impressions. And this has been my daily driver for quite a while. So basically, first of all, let's go through the features. And you might be aware that Android 11 rooms have already come out. And you might be wondering why am I making a video on Android 10 now? Well, basically Android 10 is as stable as it is going to be ever. And Android 11 is still in development and some bugs are being resolved. So if you want a daily travel roam, then this might be your best bet for now. In future videos, I'll also talk about Android 11 rooms and show them to you. So do subscribe to watch those videos. And as you can see here, there are touchscreen gestures here, as you can see, and jump to camera shortcut. And here are the ingestion navigation features and resurrection remix is one of the most feature rich rooms that you will ever find. So as you can see here, there are a lot of options for customizing the system navigation options. And you can even skip music tracks from here. And if you go under the display section, they will find some more options. And these are pretty generic options and these could be found on many other rooms. So basically these are lock screen display options. Here you can see this kind of stuff and always on display can be ticked on here and it works really well, but there's a bug that you cannot change the brightness for it. So there's an app called OLED Saver. You can check that out for this thing. And here are ambient display options. And basically about the bugs for this room, I'll be leaving a link down below. I've made a list and it makes no sense to repeat the bugs over and over again. So bugs and solutions, general guide that you must know, all that has been listed down in the link that is given in the description below. So you can go check that out and you have double tap to wake and pocket detection. And this room does not come with Google apps or magic inbuilt. So you'll have to flash them both separately. I use Nick G up score because that's the slimmest one I can find and quite stable. And under styles and wallpapers, as you can see, there is tons of customization. You can even customize the app dot from here and you can customize the clock settings from here and these will reflect even on the always on display. So that's a pretty cool feature. And from the style section, you can customize font icons, all kind of stuff as you can see here. So let me just go through it once with you. As you can see here, there are tons of options here and you can choose anything that you want. You can even change the shapes here. So that's a pretty cool thing. And you can even save these settings. Now to jump to the holy grail of the settings, you can go down there in the resurrection remix tools and find here that there are tons of options here. So I will quickly go through them. You can have a look at them because it does not make sense to ponder upon each and every one of those features because that would just be a waste of time. And as you can see here, you can customize all this stuff. So I won't really say elaborate on each of this feature you can just read about it and if you find something is interesting you can just pause and read because these are pretty much self-explanatory and if i show each of this feature well the video will be an hour long so there's a battery bar here and you can customize all kind of things here you can show the logo but i do not uh, like clutter on my status bar and you can customize so as you can see i hit the roaming indicator and one thing this room does not support Volti or Vio Wi-Fi and these options are just generic and these do not work on LG V30. And that's part of the bugs list that I earlier mentioned, you can read about that. And this is the status bar weather option. As you can see here, I can enable that and I can even choose color and that kind of stuff. So this room has tons of features and one another reason why this room is so stable is because most of the uh, say custom room developers stopped updating their particular sources after say December or so because by then Android 11 had gotten a lot of features and needed more work but Resurrection Remix got updated past that and we even have the February security patch here. And talking about the battery life, it is pretty satisfactory but I would say that this is not the best battery life that I got. In my personal experience, I got more battery life out of say, Lini OS that I used earlier. But in terms of features, there are tons of features. That's why I prefer this particular room. As you can see here, you can turn 
on and off the smart pixels burn in protection and I really like that here there are suspend actions so as you can see here there are just millions and millions of features and there's no limit to how much you can customize it and I find that really nice as you can see here and here you can change the smallest width for the display so this is basically to increase or decrease the size and I'm using the Hummer kernel here and that works pretty nice the even the inbuilt kernel is pretty nice and it comes with ZRAM enabled that is good for multitasking you have the lock sync pulse option I mean display visualizer and as you can see there are tons 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 of options you have some fingerprint settings you can enable fingerprint unlock on reboot you have edge lightning this is basically when a notification shows up then the sides would light up and you can disable or enable the heads up and customize that here is the dis dashboard settings as you can see here and you have display size options this is another way you can customize and these are the font sizes so basically if you want to increase or decrease that and here are even as you can see here there are several of these themes so I have enabled the Choco X one I don't know if you are able to notice the difference uh, that's probably because I am using Swift installer that's a third party themer so that is probably contradicting with this one but as you can see there is ton of customization options here and you can play around with them yourself and there's a, even a gaming mode if you want to game and not be disturbed so that's pretty cool you have the kill up option hide smart replies disable if seen notifications for expand so as you can see here three finger screenshot gestures so let me just quickly browse through that and under the lock scene settings you have the, there is option for this force brightness values but it basically does nothing so yeah that's that you have ambient music ticker so i've enabled that it's pretty nice to have that and battery info will show you on the lock screen on the aod how fast your phone is charging and that kind of stuff and to make the experience even better i'm using a dual speaker mod so you can check that out if you want i'll be linking it down in the description below and it's not really a stereo effect exactly because on the upper side on the EAP side, the volume is not that loud because you can't really emulate a stereo speaker when it's not been given in hardware. But it's pretty still nice to have. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos.